There is a major multi-network cellular and landline outage affecting eastern Canada, including 911 service. With more than 21 of the last 24 hours seeing some level of solar storm condition, the question is natural. Is this yet another solar storm effect this summer? The current disruption is caused by the northern coronal hole. Coronal holes are regions where magnetic fields sweep out into space instead of looping back down to the sun. This allows fast solar wind to stream out and indeed that arrived at Earth over the last half day, doubling the plasma speed and temperature of the electric field in an enduring impact event that poured energy into an unstable magnetic system above our heads. It culminated with the densest portion of the shockwave impacting this morning, causing increased pressure on the field system and triggering ground magnetic perturbations that seem to consistently want to spike downward into eastern Canada over and over to lower latitudes than anywhere else on Earth, all in the hours leading up to the outage this morning. Here we are seeing the same type of multi-system disruption we saw a month ago when nearly all of Central America lost power at the peak of a solar storm impact. Today, both Bell and TELUS were knocked out, and while they use separate systems, separate software, and separate everything else you would expect, some of their critical infrastructure is shared, just like with the power company set up across Central America. With both systems taken out, it wasn't some glitch by one company, and so therefore, we are left with either a highly unlikely simultaneous network glitch by both companies at the same time, which caused the same glitch in their services, or... Something much larger affected the geographical region and the pieces are lining up in the timing of the storm, the expected nature of the impact, and actual observed magnetic disruptions, just like a month ago. While final certainty in these matters is abundant like honesty in Congress, we can honestly say that this is a perfect example of a large-scale, multi-system disruption that was likely triggered by space weather.